Ew. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of City Living. So I was very, very blessed to be given a uh, early access code by EA. So thank you, EA, for that. I love you. You guys are my fam. But um, I am so freaking excited. So you guys know that I was able to play this game for like two days at Sims Camp uh, a couple weeks ago. And I was so sad to come home and not have the game like installed into mine anymore. It felt so empty. I love this. I love this expansion pack. It's actually really 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 nice i think you guys are gonna enjoy it so i am so excited to be able to start this let's play <sighs> i'm so excited <laughs> like i don't think you guys understand but anyways so i know that me and a bunch of other simmers uh we had a little discussion on twitter uh we are all switching well not all of us but you know a lot of us are switching to only maxis matched uh custom content which i'm like <laughs> I'm really, really down for because it just looks so clean. It looks like it's supposed to be in the game. I'm really into it. So that's all that we're going to see. I hope you guys are ready for that. But anyways, I want to introduce you to my sim. We only have one girl. I'm starting out real simple, real clean. Her name is Callie MacArthur. I wanted a really weird sim, guys. Like, I'm talking weird. I wanted it to be a weird experience all the way through. So her traits... She's a vegetarian. This is one of the new traits. I love this. I don't know why. I've just like, I've always wanted a vegetarian sim. I'm not like actually vegetarian myself, but like I really want vegetarian sims. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, she's hot headed and she's insane. Um, some of the other new traits, oh, I can't actually show you on this menu. My bad. There's unflirty. I actually don't know if there's any other ones, to be honest with you. I kind of forgot. It's been a while since I've played. Uh, Unflirty was another one, and I did play with Unflirty before, and it is very, very challenging. Like, you want to make a challenge out of the Unflirty trait? You definitely can, because it is hard. Like, they have no luck in romance, guys. <laughs> but this is the new aspiration. It's called City Native, and it says Home Turf, and uh, there's like a I'll show you what that says after we get out of Create a Sim because everything's locked right now. But anyways, let me show you Callie's outfit. So this is actually like my first time ever using tattoos. I'm pretty sure this tattoo is new, actually. It is new. So this is one that comes with the new expansion. I think this is supposed to be like a koi fish kind of tattoo. Again, okay. Excuse me if I'm wrong, uh, I'm just guessing, but that's what I think it is, and it's very, very pretty. I love tattoos like that, so I just went ahead and plopped that right on her, because I never used tattoos, and I thought now is probably a good time. But anyways, her outfit, the top is from the new expansion pack. I'll probably go through and show you guys some of the outfits that do come with the expansion pack, because they are insane, at least just the dresses, okay? Because they are in insane you guys are gonna die okay and then the shorts are custom content they are they look don't they look amazing i'm loving this whole maxis match thing and then the boots are also custom content um but i'll show you some of the dresses really quick let me just go through her outfits first so that's her every day the hair is really really nice also custom content i'm sorry i didn't really use that much stuff like from the game i apologize um i just i went on like a custom content spree so i mean you know but you guys will see more of the outfits in the game they're really nice uh, I gave her the marina heart because why not? And yeah, she's got some freckles. I'm loving it, loving it. Okay, so moving on. Outfit number two. Oh, here we go. So this is one of the new dresses from the pack. And this little like leaf cuff thing is also new from the pack. And I'm, I just, I'm obsessed. <laughs> like I'm obsessed. If I could put this right here with every outfit, I would. But isn't this dress stunning? Tell me that's not stunning. Okay, moving on. This is her athletic wear. It looks like athletic wear, you know. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Everything here is custom content, I'm pretty sure. This is all custom content. Uh, this is her sleepwear, but look at these cute kitty slippers. Ah! I die. It's so cute. But look, they match the pants. They look like sushi. Uh, okay, moving on. So then her party wear, it is very like, um, it resembles her everyday wear like a lot. See how it's like the orange and the denim? 
you see you see the theme I'm going for here except it's like a sweater and then um, like sweater cropped up and then the denim skirt which I'm very much enjoying <laughs> and then I was like debating on making this the everyday wear but I went with this because it actually includes you know something from the game so I thought I should probably do that and then her swimwear is some more custom content because why the hell not so anyways yeah I'm gonna go through some of the some of the dresses real quick so you guys can see like there's so many different like cultures and stuff that they incorporated into this game. Like you guys just, yeah, just, just look at them. Hmm. Just, like, look at this. Look how insanely gorgeous that is. It's very, very cool. Look at this one. I love this one. I almost chose this one. Look at this one. Yes. Like, are, yes. Are you dying? Are you dying? <laughs> Oh, I'm like a walking commercial for the clothes in this game right now, but I don't even care because they're so pretty. And this is the one that I chose right here. It comes in all these different colors. Look how beautiful. Oh, wait, but the red one is really nice. Look at that. The red and gold. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So yeah, that's like a taste of some of the different, uh, some of the different outfits. Can I get rid of this, by the way? Mm -hmm. How do I get rid of this outfit now that I've chosen it? Can I? Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so th those are her outfits. I hope you like them. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game. Oh. She's living in a not so great apartment because we're just starting out. It needs a little work, but I think I think we'll be okay. So the new careers, I had to choose between these and I'm like, I want to do them all. Woo, behind a wall. There she is, my queen, my queen, Kali, my queen. Um, we are in a not so great apartment. As you can see, the furniture behind us is not very good. It's dirty. Uh, there's like vents on the floor and all that stuff, which I think is actually pretty normal, but like there's just got stuff everywhere. It's not awful, but it's one of the worst ones. <laughs> um, you know, we have, I don't even, we have all this, which I'm not even sure about, like, you guys know. But then there are lot traits. Now these, I am very excited to show you. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's just go, let's just show you those. So here we have our lot traits and it comes with this one, the needs TLC. So it's a great place to practice your handiness skills. So that means that, you know, things aren't gonna be uh, that sturdy. Things are gonna break a lot and it's kind of a rundown place, kind of old I'm thinking. So, you know, things are gonna break. Um, so I, you can add two more. This one has to stay, but you can add two more. It only comes with one to begin with. And I added cursed <laughs> because I'm horrible, uh, and great soil. I don't know why. I just feel like she would be one with like the outdoors. She doesn't have the loves outdoors trait, but like I wanted her to be kind of crazy. So I thought like anything to do with traits, I'm just going to leave it to fate. Okay. So these are all the different traits. There's actually quite a lot to choose from. Um, I'm, I'm, can you put these on houses now too? Is that something that they said? To be honest, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. But they have Chef's Kitchen, Quake Zone. Quake Zone is a very interesting one because your house will literally just start shaking. It makes earthquakes. Earthquakes. How, how cool is that? Uh, good schools. This gives you a mean vibe. Home studio helps you paint and stuff. Uh, this one... When the sun goes down, Sims make it energized, happy, or inspired. Cursed is lots of things seem to go wrong in this apartment. Okay. I haven't played with the curse trait, but I remember them talking about it. And it was like very, like almost frustrating to a point where it's just like, you cannot like handle it. And <laughs> I thought that would be really funny. And you know, it would be interesting to see me get mad. So Grody, um, they get nauseous a lot. Gremlins will come in here and break stuff. Penny, Pixies, you'll find money. Okay, so there's a lot of these guys. I'm like, I don't know if I should go through all of them. This one I think you guys will really like. It's, um, it gives you a better chance of having twins. How nice is that? Especially if you're doing like a baby challenge or something. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, but yeah, so these are all really nice. The gnomes are nice. They come in and fix everything, which would be great if you had the gremlins. They would kind of cancel each other out. You guys, you guys understand. But anyway, so for the careers, okay. There is a couple new ones. There's a social media career, which I played with before, and I do like it. It is very, um, it's very realistic <laughs> to like what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is basically just sitting on my butt at a computer all day. So, I mean, like it's exciting and we'll probably go through it uh, with like another sim later on. But for now, I want to explore some that I haven't played with yet. So there are the critics. There's an art critic and a food critic. And there's the politician career, which you can be like a politician or you can be 
a activist. And I really wanted to try the activist career. I thought that would be really, really cool. We could, uh, we could fight for something. We could stand up for something. I thought that would be cool. So we should do, I think I'm going to do that one. I think that's the one I'm going for. But, um, so yeah, this is our apartment. Let me, let me just give you the grand tour. I haven't like edited any of the furniture or anything. Like this is how it comes. There's a bedroom here. There's a bathroom. Uh, oh, we actually have two bedrooms, which I didn't even notice to be to actually, you know, to be honest with you. So we could actually change that into something else, uh, which would be nice. But anyways, yeah, you can see our furniture is kind of run down. It's really not that great. Uh, yeah, but anyways, if you come out here, this is where we will check our mail and stuff. And here is the bulletin board. We can leave a note or we can leave like an angry note. Depends on how we're feeling. This is our mailbox right here. We don't have anything in there right now. And here is the elevator that will take us down. Now, I think something that you guys are really going to find that's very nice is you, if you're in one of the districts, you don't have to have like loading screens to just go outside like into the town. If you want to go into another building, you do. But if you want to just go outside, you don't. All you have to do is just go downstairs. So we'll just go downstairs. I'll show you what I mean. Look at that butt. She's got a nice butt. Just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> All my sons have nice butts. Okay, now we wait for her to go downstairs. What? No, she didn't go downstairs. Girl, what? She's trying to get on her computer. Girl, are you me? Oh, anyway, I'm just going to zoom out and show you. So here we are. Here's the town. <laughs> I was trying to use the elevator, but clearly that's not going to happen. So we are in the... Is this the... I don't even know what district I'm in, to be honest with you. I just chose the cheapest one. I think it's the Spice District. Oh, God. I hope I'm right. We'll go to the map view in a second. As you can see, everybody's out here. It's all bustling. We don't need loading screens. There we are. We're down here. We're doing things. We're in the town. I love that, no loading screens. But like if you wanted to go to say like this building here, you would need a loading screen. Anywhere that has like a little car on the cursor needs a loading screen. So that's one of the karaoke bars right here. Isn't that cool? Look at this. Ooh, oh, there's the bridge guys. The bridge that sparkles at night. We're right next to it. I'm so excited. All right, let's see what's going on over here. We'll go check out all of the map and I'll show you guys around. It's really pretty. Look at this. So this is one of the little like street art people. Someone's playing. Ooh. Someone's playing something over here. Very nice. Someone's playing basketball with their buddy. We can make a little coin toss in there. And uh, this right here is very nice because in this little circle, things will change out. So there won't always be tables there. It will change. There will be different things there. And these change too. We can buy produce, we can haggle with her. Let's try to haggle with her. Let's just see what happens. I've never done that, so let's just see. I don't think she's having it. Oh, no. Are you crazy? I'm already losing money at these prices. What prices? Let's see your prices. Show me those prices. What the? What? How are you losing money at these prices? You're crazy, girl. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a little, take a little exploring around. So there are a few things that we can collect. Uh, snow globes is one of them. Oh my god, how cute! And then also we can grab these like posters. They're on like the back of these things, and I don't know if that's a collectible. I'm assuming it is, but you can sell them for like kind of a lot of money. Uh, not like a huge amount, but like if you're broke, then yes. Oh, here we go. So here's a box. So these random boxes are just like scattered through, like throughout the town. And you can look for snow globes. I'm going to speed it up. Get her over here quicker. Yes, queen. Look for snow globes. <laughs> we are going to start this collection like right now. Girl, yes. Did you find one? Oh. <gasps> Did we get one? From the dusty depths of the free box, Callie has discovered one starter flowers. What? What? Those aren't snow globes. <laughs> well, look, we can start our gardening. We've got some flowers. I don't know why that happened, but all right, I guess. Well, hopefully we'll find some snow globes eventually. Hopefully someday. And then uh, what else can I show you around here? What is this? Oh, that's a bathroom. Yep. There's a place where like little rats run around and stuff. I don't know exactly where it is though. Oh, it's right here. 
There's only a few places. Pl places. Oh, there it is. I was saying there's only a few places to fish. This is one of them. Look at it. Ah. Uh oh. Eh! Look at its weird body. Ew. Don't run away. Okay, so. What we're gonna do now is go head into the map view. We're gonna visit some other towns. We're gonna meet some people because we don't know anybody. We just moved here. We don't know anyone. Okay, so yeah, we live in the spice market. So we are over here. This is where the one of the karaoke bars is and this is a house, I guess. I guess it's just someone's house. I Honestly, I didn't know. So this is what the apartments look like when you're buying them. So here you go, you got this. This is ours right here. We live here and you can see their traits that they have. And who else lives there? Very nice, very nice. Some of them have like multiple stories also. Like, um, let me see which one. Yeah, this one right here. So you can go up. Yeah, some of them have multiple stories. The nicer ones, you know. So here's the arts quarter. I think we should head there next. So we'll just go here. Go to the art gallery. We'll go to the arts quarter. Uh, there are murals all over the place. I really like the arts quarter. I think my favorite is probably the fashion district. I don't know, it's just so pretty. <laughs> like, how could I not like it? <laughs> okay, so even this place has traits. The community lots themselves have traits. So this is like the art gallery here. What is the, What are the traits for the art gallery? I must know. But we can add our own still. Um, great acoustics and natural light. So this makes a uh, painting and photography much easier to master and, uh, and music. So we can also add another one if we wanted to, but I'll just, I'll let that be. So we can come in here and look at the bubble blowers. Yes. Slay me. Let's go try it. <laughs> Who's this guy? Justin Bieber with a beard. Uh, oh, good. There's a refrigerator. Oh, look at this nice kitchen. We can get a drink. All right, let's come over here and hop on the bubble blower real quick. No, I want a picture. Of course, I have to I have to get all these moments. They're very important moments. You guys know this. You guys know how much I love my moments. <laughs> Perfect. You did great. You did great. Look at her, now she's feeling, what in the world? Insane Sims, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> I just choked. I had my own bubble blowing experience. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. Uh, but we can change it to all of these different flavors. Uh, Jade Dragon, Passion Fruit, Snow Fleury. Ooh, what's Snow Fleury? She doesn't like it. I don't think she likes it. Ooh, it changed colors. Pretty. So now let's use it. Let's see how it makes her feel. Ooh, it made her cold. You see that she shivered. How cool was that? She's sparked by clouds. Oh, she. I was like, that's not That's not from this. She was cloud gazing earlier, but it made her inspired now. Ooh, what's this? Chill, just a tad chilly. Whoa, weird. Okay, so we'll, we'll experience that later on. But out here you can do like a mural, which is really cool. You can do one on the ground here too. I think I, I, think I did that when I was at EA. I'm pretty sure I did that there. You can paint up here, there's a little place for your kids to go. Uh, what else? I mean, there's art, obviously. Uh, woodworking bench, the clay. Not sure what you can do there. Just look at some sculptures. And there's a, well, how many stories is this freaking thing? There's a place for music. Oh, look at the new chairs. Aren't they to die for? I love them, they're like little Ottomans. Uh, yeah, okay, so place for music. <laughs> and then, um, Oh, just some more art. Okay, okay. This is a very big building. Jeez Louise. Okay, but this is the art district. Look how cute, guys. Look at the lights. Look how cute this is. Oh, someone's out here selling stuff. They're selling frogs. There's a vendor out here. Oh, no, let's go ask them. We should go get... Oh, can we get some? Oh, they're $100. You have lost your damn mind. <gasps> My favorite new sim. My favorite new sim is here. Oh my gosh. Okay, please tell me how to say his name because I don't want to say it wrong. Is it Salem? Or am I saying that completely, completely white? <laughs> um, but I love this guy. He is so handsome. We must talk to him. I think he might be married, but that ain't a problem for me, you know. Let's go, let's go talk to him. <laughs> I love that guy. It may or may have, I mean, it may or may not have something to do with, you know, that man bun. Look at the pigeons! We stepped on one! Yay! 
Okay, let's go talk to Mr. Man Bun. Hello, beautiful. Wait, what? What? Why are you No, I don't want to be embarrassed. I want to talk to this beautiful, beautiful man. He's so, so beautiful. I love him. I just met him, but I love him. I love him. Look at this guy over here. He's like, take my frogs. They're not super overpriced or anything. They're totally normal. All right, so the first guy we happen to meet is like my actual favorite person. I am so obsessed with him. I'm just, I'm so obsessed. Okay, so, um, all right, let's just get to know him for a second and then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna look at the rest of the world. He's a lazy sim. Oh, we have that in common, sir. All right, okay, okay, where, where, where's she going? Oh, she's gonna go tip this lady. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that was very nice. Oh, she's part of the Paragons. Look at her. Out here working for a living. Okay, so uh, this is the art district. I'll give you a little look around. We have this giant art sculpture down here. Uh, look at all the cars driving by. Very nice, very nice. What else can we do? What else can we do? Can we go over here? Nope. Okay, so there's a lot of places that are just like for show and they have like sims walking around but you like can't interact with them. It's just to like make it seem, you know, more more bustling and like busy and whatnot. Which is, see, see, look, there goes one over there. Oh, no, those are pigeons. <laughs> when you mistake pigeons for humans, you know, the usual. All right, let's <laughs> let's move on. I've embarrassed myself too much on this on this uh, quarter over here. Let's move on. Let's go to my favorite. We'll go to the fashion district. Yay. <laughs> fashion district. Here we go. Oh, so this is Planet Honey Pop. How cute is that freaking name? <gasps> Should we bring him? Hell yeah, bring him. Uh, we're gonna go to the karaoke bar. This is the really, really cute one. It is so cute at night. Oh, it's so cute, guys. <laughs> I showed this one in my little overview thing. That's where they were doing the karaoke. Oh, this place is so cute. It's adorable. Look how cute it is. Look at the piano. <laughs> this is where they have the talking toilets also. They're in there. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the karaoke bar. I think it's just one story. Yeah, okay, so what else do we have here? This is like, ooh, what's this? What kind of food is this? Is it closed? Oh no, it's just now opening. Sweet. We need to order some food. Look at this. Sweet and sour eggplant, sweet and sour pork. Uh, I don't, can we eat any of this? We can eat, what, this? Sometimes it tells, up, it tells us if it's vegetarian friendly and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, look at this guy. This is gonna be us. Let's go join his protest. What is he, what is he protesting exactly? I don't, I don't know what he's protesting against, but we're gonna go. Oh, she's so cold. Did you see that? What? Yeah, I don't know what we're protesting for. Oh my gosh, yes, look at us, queens, queen. I don't see anybody else with a megaphone. Oh. I lied. He has a megaphone. <laughs> yes, queen. Yes. Fight for what you believe in, queen. This is a great first day. Oh, I think they're saying like lower the, maybe like lower the taxes or something. It's like a lower percentage of money. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. Well, we're protesting for it. <gasps> Look how many of us there are. Wow. What? And then you got this guy over here saying, raise it. <laughs> what? And this girl, she's like, save the trees. What? We're all protesting for different things. Oh, she would be protesting for that. Look, she's in the garden gnomes. What? That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, so we've we've protested. We've we've looked around. What else can we do in the fashion district? It's very pretty. I like the fashion district. I think it's because it has you know the pink trees and it's just very pretty. Um, it looks really nice at night. You guys like you gotta believe me. I can't wait till we can go to like a festival or something. Oh, it's gonna be so nice, especially if it's in this district. It's my fave. All right, so we're gonna move on really quickly to the last one. 
This is where all the high rollers go. It is the uptown district. Uptown. Uh, oh, and then look, there's a little, this little park over here. I completely forget about the park, but it's a very nice park. Uh, all right, we're going to take our man over there. He doesn't know he's our man yet, but he's our man. And uh, we're going to take him over here and just, you know, see what's going on in the uptown where we really don't fit in right now, but we're going to go anyways because YOLO. So this is the gym. Look at him. He's all ready to go. She's still cold. Look at her. Oh, she's so cold. Oh, I think she's okay now. I think she's all right. But this is the gym. I actually haven't looked at the gym yet. So, you know, it looks like a gym. There's a downstairs. Got some bathroom. Oh, it's got like a locker. That's cool. Uh, and then upstairs. Ooh, a giant basketball court. Nice. Okay, fancy gym. Uh, but yeah, look how like, look how beautiful this is. There's like a podium over here. You can preach things. Uh, what else we got? We can walk up here. This is where all the little like food stands are. What food stand even is this? Ooh, it looks nice. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? We can walk around this right here. And a really cool thing about Uptown is that it's like literally in the air. It's it's in the sky, <laughs> uh, which is very interesting and also terrifying. And there's like a little bubble blower over here. I didn't even know that. Look at this. Look how pretty this place is. It's so pretty. But if I zoom out, you will notice that we are, in fact, in the sky. We're at like the top of these like tall buildings. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that so cool? So we can only hope that one day we end up here. Okay, that is the goal. Okay, that's the ultimate goal is to end up here because how freaking cool would that be? But um, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on back to our side of town. Or you know what, actually, let's go talk to this dude a little bit more. I wanna learn how to say his name right. Is, is it Salem or is it like Salim? I don't know exactly how to say his name. I want to be able to pronounce it correctly though, so I can address him properly. I'm just really bad with like all sorts of names. I'm really bad. I always pronounce everything wrong. I'm just bad with words in general. Uh, but anyways, let's just talk to this guy for a second. I want to get to know him. Let's ask him if he's single. I don't think that could go wrong. Like, she's like, yes, are you single or like what? Like, what are we going to do about that, you know? Your beard is amazing. He's got tattoos. I've got tattoos. Like, come on now. Come on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is he single? <gasps> He's single? What? I thought he was married. Oh, this makes it so much easier, but less scandalous. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, so we're going to let him be. He's going to do some push-ups right here in front of the gym instead of going inside the gym. Uh, we got some more protesters out here. Everyone's just doing push-ups. My God, everyone over here is just so in shape. Uh, we are going to go ahead and go back home. We need to get a job. We haven't gotten a job yet. Oh, but she's loving it. You see that? She's loving it. See, she's going to be great at the activist career. She's going to be great. She's already done it a little bit. She's going to love it. She's going to love it. <gasps> hey, that's our landlord, I think. I think this is our landlord. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm mistaken. I was mistaken. They both have beards. My bad. My bad. It's the one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's not her. Oh, because it's not even a woman. It's a boy. My bad. <laughs> this is our landlord. Uh, it pops up with a little thing saying like, you know, don't forget to pay your rent on time. Also, it says landlord right there. Um, so yeah, you can put a little thing on the bulletin board. Also, you can read about upcoming uh, festivals and stuff. If it's up there, that's where you take out your garbage. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, so I think our place definitely needs a makeover, but obviously we're gonna need some uh, cash money to be able to do that because we have nothing. So let's go back into our house, into our dirty, nasty house. We'll meet our neighbors in a little bit, and then you'll see how they can be really annoying sometimes and bother you and whatever. But let's go ahead and get a job. We need a job. We're not going to be able to live in this city if we don't have a good job. So let's get a job. Okay, here we go. So where is it at? Okay, so here's the critic, which I actually really want to try also. Um, everyone has an opinion. Not everyone is paid to have it. Uh, as soon as you feel they have a superior judgment, can enter the critic career, whether it's for the foods or the arts. Uh, yeah, so it, that's food or art critic, which is really cool. Politician is what I was thinking about doing. Uh, join a life of public service from protesting against the unjust uh, to gathering donations for good causes or even collecting the occasional bribe as a means to an end. 
politics is always interesting. So we could uh, branch off into a politician or a uh, charity organizer. And I was thinking about doing the charity organizer. I think that sounds really cute and really fun. Um, okay, so then the other one is social media, which I did try. It's a lot of just like um, sitting on your computer. But then again, I did do the internet personality because I wanted to see how realistic it was. <laughs> and it's pretty realistic. Um, but I didn't do public relations. I'm not even uh, not even 100% positive on what that exactly does. So we could always try that one later on too. Uh, you know, if we have him, him a family, <laughs> just saying, uh, with Mr. Man Bun. <laughs> yes. Uh, it says, what's trending? Where's the best food in town? Who's the most interesting celebrity? Start a career in social media to be the person that answers these questions for their followers. Blog and check in at venues to keep followers coming back for more. So it's kind of like in The Sims 3, you know how you could have like a blog? It's kind of like that, but it's like you get paid to do it. Also, one of my new favorite things is that you can like, quote unquote, work from home. I, I think that's for any job. So you can go to work and like they'll disappear for a certain amount of hours like like normal or they'll give you tasks and you'll have to complete those and you have to like do them around the town. It's really cool. I really like it. So it kind of it's almost like you're doing like these kind of jobs, but you're just like in your town. You don't have to like go to a location. So it's cool. But anyways, we're going to do politician because I want to uh, work assignment. Choose a cause to support. OK. How do we do that? Choose a cause to support. So here we go. Here's our work seat, work from home assignment. Choose a cause. Okay, click on your sim, choose political career, uh, then pick cause to choose a cause to support. <gasps> what? Oh, cool. Okay, so I haven't looked at this at all. We could choose speak for the trees, choose world united, choose foundation for less mischief, no sim left behind, or simoleons for everyone. Um, ooh, I don't know. I feel like she would be really good at this being a, um, like a hot-headed sim. I feel like she'd really, you know, really get in there. I have no idea what I want to choose. Can we change it? I'm assuming we can. But, um, ooh, what should we do first? I'm not sure what they, what they all stand for. I'm not sure what, like, World United is, like, World Peace, maybe? Um, we should do, should we do, I want to do, like, either Speak for the Trees... I wonder what No Sim Left Behind is, though. Right? Isn't that interesting? Or more simoleons for everyone. Um. Ah, let's do this one. <laughs> more simoleons for everyone. Only because we need simoleons. We'll do the tree one later because I do want her to be like a green thumb. So, uh, yeah. Let's... <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, girl. Pick a cause. Woo. Hey, we got money. How did... Wait, how? How did we get money? Did this just pay me? Uh, okay, so interesting, interesting stuff. But yeah, so we have the little uh, work from home assignment, which we already did. It was very easy. So anyways, yeah, so here's our aspiration. I want to look at this too. I haven't really looked at this one. Introduce self to someone new in three different city neighborhoods. Well, that's a shame because we went to literally all of them and I didn't do any of that. <laughs> give, uh, oh, give an apartment key to a friend. You know, man, run looking at you. Order three times from food stalls. Okay, cool. So those are pretty easy. We can get those done, no problem. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, just wrap up the episode here this was very like you know it's it's a very big introduction we didn't do a whole lot we just kind of looked around i showed you the apartments uh we can visit our neighbors real quick i think we'll do that before we go so here is one of our neighbors we'll go say hello to him wait what why can't we get up let's go say hello to our neighbor right outside my door hey <laughs> All right, let's go, um, let's go visit them. I think this does include, I think it is a loading screen if you visit your apart or your, uh, neighbors. I'm pretty sure you have a loading screen there because it has to load their apartment. Um, but okay, for, here's a tip guys, because this confused me and a couple other people, I think also, unless they changed it. Whenever you do this. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, it's still the same. When you visit their apartment, you see how like you're still outside the door. You then have to knock on the door after you do that. And then it lets you in. Geez, their apartment is so much nicer than mine. How in the hell is my apartment so horrible? And theirs is so nice, like right next to mine. Like, are we in the same building? Like, what is this about? Like, holy cow, they have a nice place. Geez, Louise. Um, okay, I'm... Jealous? Jeez. 
Look at this. What the heck? I'm okay. This just made me jealous. Now I don't even want to be in here. Look at the kitchen. Wow, nice kitchen, guys. Let's check out their view. I'm just gonna steal their apartment for a minute. Look at their view. We can see everything going on down there. Oopsies. Look how cool this is. We can see everything. How cute is that, guys? Oh, I love this. I really, really like the apartments. I missed having apartments in The Sims. I really enjoy them. Just personally, I don't know what it is about them, but I really like them. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back home. I don't wanna just spend my time in this apartment. If anything, now we have inspiration to work hard as an activist. <laughs> um, but yeah, we need, to, we need to go start some protests, start some rallies, start some, start some crap. <laughs> But yeah, I really want to see how, you know, my apartment is super cursed and whatnot because that, I think, would just be hilarious. So let's go back into our crappy apartment. We could protest in our own apartment, you know, just by ourselves. But I think I am going to go ahead and wrap up this part here. I hope you guys are excited for the new, new series of City Living. I have been waiting so long to play this, guys. I'm so happy to have it back in my game. And to be able to show you guys. And a big thank you to EA again for the early release. I'm... I couldn't wait another day, so thank you. <laughs> and yeah, so leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time. Bye!